Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you how I make one of my favorite recipes. It is the super fluffy vegan banana bread and it tastes exactly just like a classic banana bread but without all of the fats and sugars and just nasty ingredients. And you'll be super surprised to know once you taste it that it contains only plant-based ingredients and best of all there are only five ingredients just like the recipes in the rest of my cookbook. So if you want to check it out I'll link it below but now let's get into this recipe. So the first thing that we're going to do is grab some bananas. I have a bunch that I freeze. I buy them when they're really cheap and I have defrosted it and I will just place that in the bowl. I also have a healthy fat sauce. Now guys, don't be worried. Fat does not make you fat. You can use either vegan butter, animal butter if you're not vegan or some coconut oil or olive oil. They're all really good options. So I am using some vegan butter mixed with olive oil today a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Oops, a lot of vanilla essence. And then I'm going to mix that all up, mashing the bananas as we go along. Because my bananas were frozen and defrosted, they're already kind of naturally mashy. Here I have got some flour. So if you're gluten intolerant, you can use some gluten-free flour. That will work perfectly fine. Or you can use wholemeal or spelt flour. Today I'm using spelt because I love that slightly nutty taste. And then also some coconut sugar, which is an all natural sweetener and it has a beautiful caramelly taste as well. You can also use, you know, plain normal sugar or even like a sugar replacement if you're worried about the sugar count. I don't really tend to worry about that. I just like to use as natural ingredients as possible. You can also use some chopped dates too and that would even add some extra fiber. So stir that all up. The thing I love most about baking plant-based treats is that you can actually taste the batter because there's no eggs. And I love the taste of that, so I can tell that that is gonna bake up really well. So once that's kind of like that banana bread dough texture, it is ready to put in the oven. I have got a bread pan that's lined with baking paper. I bought these awesome red liners online, I'll link it below, but they're so good because they fit perfectly inside tins. And then I've just greased it lightly with a little bit of olive oil. So I'm going to put that in to our pan, making sure to scoop up every little piece of butter because we do not want to waste any of this precious cargo. I am also going to throw some slivered almonds on top for some extra crunch. That is our final product and we're going to put it into the oven at 175 degrees Celsius for about 45 to 50 minutes until golden brown on top and a skewer comes out clean. Luckily, when there's only five ingredients, there basically is no cleanup. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like this recipe. And if you do try it, make sure you comment below and let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. And I'd also love to see them. So make sure you tag me on Instagram. I will link it up here. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more healthy and nutritious recipes. Thanks again for watching. Bye.